how to create apps that make you money every single day at BGN Apps Course Training. And hello, everyone. My name is Christopher Wilson, self proclaimed mobile app mobile. And this is the money part. We're, what we're going to learn is how to monetize our apps so we can make the money. Show me the money. I got it titled up here. And that's taking a reference from an old uh, movie, like in the 90s, Jerry Maguire. But Cuba Gooding signs a big contract and he's telling his agent to show me the money. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, uh, this video is part of a playlist. Go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that bell notification right now so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. And like I said, this is an exciting part for me because I'm going to show you how to make the money. Um, if you look on my uh, my channel, uh, you can see I got a video here with one month. Uh, I made $16,941.71. So that's what you can make with AdMob. Not, not saying you. Now, what, let me make a disclaimer, okay? It all depends on your work and what you do and how you do it. And, you know, you put the work in, you can make an income like that. I've had multiple, multiple five-figure um, earnings months. And, like I said, the money is there with AdMob. And uh, in a stitch of ads and banner ads is what's running on your apps. I showed you in the earlier videos um, when we made our Neon Wolf keyboard that apps were, that the, I said I like how the apps, uh, the ads are showing. So you got the interstitial ads with your full page ads and the banner ads run at the bottom. Okay. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and show me the money. <clears throat> now, first of all, you're going to need to uh, set up an ad mob account. Okay, which is number one here. Okay, and we show you how to monetize the app, where to put your uh, pub publication, publisher and app IDs and how to get your banner and your IDs and where to put them in on your AppyGen app. Okay, and then we're going to do a test run and see if the ads are running. But first, you're going to need to get an AdMob account. So what you can simply do is, you know, just type AdMob in your, let's type AdMob. Then we're going to click on the AdMob link and I'm going to put it in the description box. Okay. So let's click on add mop. And you uh now there's two ways to do this. You can sign in with one of your Gmail accounts, or you can sign up for a new account. Uh new accounts typically take about uh two days for them to approve you, but more than likely you will get approved. Okay. So um let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in to one of my well, my only ad mop account. <laughs> Because you're only allowed to have one. If they catch you with two or more, they can ban your account. And we don't want that to happen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And logging in is uh, just as simple as um, fill, uh, signing into your Gmail account. Okay, so uh, we have this uh, account up and going. Let's go to my apps. Okay, all right, now. First of all, we're going to need to get our publisher ID, and that'll be right here, okay? So just click in the top icon, right-hand side. Let's go ahead and grab that. We just want the pub ID part, and copy it. Now we're going to go to AppyGen, and I'm going to log in. And we're going to log into the practice account, and I already set it up. What is that? Uh-oh. Okay, I don't know what that was that showed up there, but anyway, what you're gonna have to do first is go to your account settings tab. See right here, click that, and you're gonna add your publisher ID right here where it says "Add My Publisher ID." I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, I already did it, so I don't have to do it again. Okay, and right now, uh, Add Mob is the only ad network that AppyGen uses. Now, I talked to support and uh, the, the uh, development team, and they said they were going to work, well, they're working on getting some more, some more monetization options besides AdMob, because, you know, sometimes AdMob doesn't want to 
play nice with others and you know they can get kind of kind of tedious and hectic but anyway so anyway now we're going to go to our app or apps now the monetization part we're just going to go right here and click monetization and click add settings now <clears throat> This, uh, we've seen this already. If you don't have an AdMob account, then what you use theirs. But we have ours now. We're going to make ours. But we're going to add our, let's see, let's check to see if our publisher ID is there. Okay. Tick this box to make sure you got AdMob. And your publisher ID is good. All right, good. Now, I'm going to take these off for now because those are no good. So, got that done. Okay, now, let's go ahead and set up our uh, ad units. So, some tabs here let's go to apps okay we're going to add app okay have you published your app on google play store yet uh i'm going to take no and i usually take no because i haven't set it up yet i want to see if the ads are running so no that's fine and it says enter the app uh, app information that name is neon wolf Neon Wolf keyboard thing. All right? Okay. It's going to be on the Android platform. Okay. Click Add. And that's going to be your app ID. Now, we don't necessarily need the app ID. All we need is the banner, banner ID and the interstitial ID. Okay. All right. So. Let's go ahead and click uh, create unit but you can just put this on your app it, uh, on your description template if you want matter of fact let's just do that so we'll go to our description template or and remember you can use your description template to oh, to add all your monetization information and so see my hmm. hold on one second okay my apologies that I had to find my description template where I have and I found it okay now you can take this and remember this description template I got a place for that too add my ID banner here so you can just put that there if you want but like I said we, we really don't use that okay but anyway let's just put on there anyway just to keep continuity of things okay so let's go ahead and create add unit <clears throat> okay now first we're going to select banner okay so go ahead and select banner Alrighty. and we're going to type in well, we can just copy or type it in i'm just a copy and paste guy banner neon wolf Okay, Neon Wolf theme. That's so we know it's a banner ad. And what I do, I go to Advanced Settings. I go to Custom. This is what I do. I rate this right around 30. So we'll just say 35 seconds. That means it's going to show an ad on the banner every 35 seconds. Google Optimize lets it, wants it to go to like 120, 120 seconds, but I like 35. Okay, Create Ad Unit. Okay, and wherever you see this banner thing is, the banner icon, we're going to copy that. Go back to AppyGen, where it says banner code. Guess what? We're going to place that banner right there. Okay, now let's go back to AppMod. We're going to create another ad unit and a stitch. Okay, those are the full page ads, and that, that's where you get the money. We don't do anything for advanced settings, at least I don't. I just leave that like it is. Let's copy that inner stitch there. Okay. And neon wolf keyboard. Keep everything labeled nice and neat. Continuity. So therefore you got you know that's your inner stitch ad for your 
Neon Wolf keyboard. Click Create Add Unit. Okay, I'm gonna grab it right here. Now, literally, like I said, you can really, really set this up in five minutes, as you can see. And actually, we're done. But what I'm gonna do is paste it first. Okay. All right. There, there. All right. Go ahead and click Done. Okay. And this is the ad unit. Now, once you get your app on the Google Play Store, what you're gonna have to do is uh, add it, like what it says Add View. Uh, no, Add Units, I think. No, App Settings. Okay, you you got to link it. If you want to link it to Firebase, you can, but if not, don't worry about it. But where it says right here, not linked to Google Play, what you got to do is, once you get it on Google Play, you have to search for it and link it to Google Play. Like this, it says link to Google Play. You might have to search it. Might have to put in quotes, like Neon, Wolf, keyboard something like that and then once you do that it'll show images just for example it'll show images of other apps these none of these are ours of course because we don't have it on Google Play yet but just find yours and then click select okay now that's uh, app you uh, publish your app on the Google Play Store okay so basically we're done okay so let's go back to AppyGen, okay, and let's save monetization settings, okay, and there we have it. Now, what we're going to do is run another test just to see if it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and download the APK file using PushBullet, and I'm going to see you in the next part of the video. Okay, our app is generating, I'm going to go ahead and refresh it see if it's ready yet okay it's ready so I'm gonna download it uh, and name it matter of fact I may I may label it test monetization test monetization one something like that so you know the ad mob ads are in it okay then I'm gonna put it on push bullet and put it on my phone okay so uh, let's go ahead let's go ahead and uh, put it in put it in now we'll I build. Let's just say add mob test. Add mob test. Alright. Save it. And gonna use push bullet. Okay. And let's go ahead and build. Add mob test right there. Okay, move it over there, push bullet. I'm gonna download on our phone, and I'll see you in the next part of the video after I test it to see if the ads are running. I'm on my phone, and we're gonna do a test test run to see if our ads are running. So let's go to push bullet and add mob test. There it is. Okay, download it. Oh, I should have uninstalled the other version that I had. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. And install and hopefully we will see our ads running and the interstitial ads pop up okay let's open it up okay and there it is okay that's the first interstitial ad right there Facebook groups okay and Let's see if the banners are running. Uh, okay, let's, well, there it is. Good, good, good. That's where your money is. So let's go ahead and test that. I'm still waiting to see some banners though. There we go. Okay, and, and the stitchel again. And the banner as are running, there we go again. Okay, so it, it doesn't have that placeholder message that we had on the first, uh, uh, well, the uh, Apigens, uh, IDs in there where it just had the uh, the static pay, uh, static code okay those are actual ads running remember don't click on your own ads never do that that's the quickest way 
listen, Google it. The ad mob is smart. They'll know it. So you click on your own ads. You take a risk on getting your ad mob account shut down and your Google Play account shut down. And we don't want to go through all that. We want to, we want to have some $17,000 months. Okay. Making money with our apps. So going to go back to the second part of the video. See you in a minute. Okay, and now we're back, and you obviously seen that our ad mob ads are running. I think they had the Facebook groups uh, ads running. So that's how we set up our ad mob account and put our uh, app IDs inside that PGN and so forth, and we're done. So thanks for watching this video. Remember, like, subscribe if you like the training so far. Comment. Let me know, and I will promise, well, I'm not going to promise to answer back, but I will try my best to answer back, okay? So, Christopher Wilson signing off. I'll see you in the next video, where we'll probably be setting up our Google Play account. So we can get our app up and going in the Play Store and making some money. Take care.